Greetings, members of County Line Gaming. Or, I guess, would that be subscribers? Yeah, subscribers of County Line Gaming. Uh, slightly amiss here, and this will be after uh, a month and some odd days. Uh, my first Let's Play for County Line Gaming. Um, there, there was a, kind of a bit of a negative backlash um, when I was inducted into County Line Gaming. Um, yeah. Uh, for reasons I personally find understandable. Um, but whatever those reasons are, whatever the reasons, um, that backlash, if if indeed it even was a backlash, it, it could also, you know, be something uh, concocted solely in my mind, which, uh, frankly, is probably the case. But whatever the reasons are, I, I hope that you can uh, watch these videos and just uh, somehow enjoy them, whether to mock me or you know, get into it with me or, or however exactly... Uh, that might be done. Um, so, yeah, for my first game on County Line, I'm going to be playing uh, one of my favorite games, uh, a game I enjoyed uh, as a, a youngin' and a game I still enjoy to this day, and that's going to be, I'm sure most of you has, have guessed it by now, is Super Mario Bros. 3. And uh, like most games that... Uh, I really, really, really love. I tend to have a love-hate relationship with this game because I, I'm not really a big Mario fanatic. Like I don't know the names of every enemy in this game, like a lot of people do, and I don't know all the tricks. Oh, hey, the little three has like a Tanuki tail. I just noticed that after like a long time of playing this game. After over a decade of playing this game, I just know. Ah, I, but we'll just jump right in. But yes, uh, uh, love-hate relationship definitely. Um, as you may get to observe just with this first level here. I, I do tend to, to like to play this game while running a lot. I like to play it fast. I like to uh, just have fun with it. A lot of people I know like to go slow with this game. And actually, surprisingly, a lot of people that I know who play video games uh, even old video games, um, either dislike this game or really haven't played it. But of course, there's many, many, many people who love this game, and ow, I'm an idiot. There's like a little secret up there, but whatever, we don't need it. I think it was an extra guy, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. See, like right now, I feel like, ah! Like right now, I feel like I'm just going a little bit too slow, and I missed the P, and whatever. Okay. Wow. So, after completing a level, as you can see, you get a card, either a mushroom, a star, or a fire flower. Uh, after you collect three of any type, you automatically get a 1-up. Um, if you collect three mushrooms, I believe you get a 1-up as well. If you collect three stars, uh, you get 5-up, and if you collect three fire flowers, you get 3-up. Now, there is kind of a trick to getting stars, and I'm sure many of you know this game. Um, I know the people of, of CLG probably know a lot more about games than I do. Um, but I'm just gonna play this through as if, as if um, I was doing just sort of a, my own Let's Play on my channel. Um, there is kind of a trick, and I think there's an extra guy up there somewhere. Yep. Whee! Oh, oh well. You, you can go down that pipe right there and get some stuff, but I stupid and I missed it. And the trick to getting stars each time is to run at the uh, at the card tile um, with a P like this and try to hit like sort of the corner right there, that just that bottom left corner, and you should get a star every time. And while this game certainly isn't as difficult as the original Super Mario Bros. and certainly isn't as difficult as Super Mario Bros. 2, of course I count Super Mario Bros. 2 as uh, the Doki Doki Panic remake, because I am from the United States, and uh, not from the glorious uh, magical lands of Japan, so, um... Mar Super Mario Bros. 2 to me is Doki Doki Panic. I, I really like Lost Levels, personally. I think it's a very fun game, and, um, if you have All-Stars, I recommend playing that. I don't have my 
raccoon tail right now, so I can't fly up in the air. I think there might be an extra guy up there and some coins. I forget, personally, to be honest with you. And I'm... There is actually a secret... Another secret in this level. Um... I'll get it just to show you. I'd rather have five up, personally, because I don't plan on using this said secret during this Let's Play. Come on, you. Okay, you stand on this white tile and duck. And you fall... behind, as you can see. And you run behind the ending tile screen and there's a secret. One, two, down this whistle will send you to a faraway land. This is essentially the warp whistle. Use it to warp two different worlds. If you use it in world one, you have uh, two, three, and four to select. If you use it in two, three, or four, you have uh, five, six, and seven to select. If you use it in five, six, or seven, you have world eight to select. And uh, mushroom houses, pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. I always seem to remember that saying on your journey. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Or is that like an all-stars thing? Um, I don't have to do this this level, level four, but I'm going I'm going to try to do all the levels that I can, even though some of them that you can skip are really annoying. Plus, I can get that I can get those five extra guys before the castle, because you know Boom Boom is very difficult. Not really, but that's okay. Wee. I think is that next guy up there? Oh, it's not. I think it's up here. Yeah. Oh. Uh, been doing pretty well so far. Trust me, I have started this game even after again over ten years of playing it, and have done much worse than I've done even on the first world. <laughs> I, I am 100% positive you will see pathos in all game playing forms. Oh, I got a mushroom. No, well, 1-up's good, I guess. Ah, I wanted that star, what happened? Alright, uh, this game is sort of, uh, well, line up the pictures and get a prize. You only get one try, so you have to get, obviously, either a firefly mushroom or star, and getting... Well, I messed it up, but getting one completed will give you the corresponding number of extra guys that you get in the levels by getting three cards. And I'm not sure how I'm doing on time. Um, I don't know if... well, I guess I could just tell you guys, I suppose. Um, there is actually another war whistle in this castle. Um, again, I'm sure everybody knows about this who's watching this, but... I think I want to fight Boom Boom just to show you, but in this box, in that box right there, there is a leaf, and you f and you run like this, and you f fly, and then you fly up above the wall that's right above me, and it's just up there. And there's a warp whistle, and you don't have to fight Boom Boom. However, if you don't fight Boom Boom, there is a lock on the on the map uh, that will not disappear because you have to fight Boom Boom to make it disappear. I will show you this in a minute. You can kill Boom Boom with Fire Flower. See? Normally you jump on him and then he'll sort of like go down to the ground, those spikes will appear. Don't jump on him then and then he'll come back up, you jump on him again, hit him three times to kill him if you don't have the Fire Flower. There's that lock that disappeared just uh, right in between these two. And uh, I've been talking way too much, I kind of need a sip of water, and I'm not sure how I'm doing on time, so I will stop it here. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3.